Hi YouTube, it's Lauren, um, my pink hanger. Uh, I am here to just do a haul um, from a local garage sale, rummage sale that a high school had around here this weekend. I found some really great stuff. Um, I'm not gonna go over individual prices today um, just because some of it I bought like as a bulk so I really don't know. Um, I spent total on all the items you're gonna see today, $57, so pretty good. Um, didn't spend a ton and I got some really great items, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start with the clothes. So I got these pink, just like black leggings, um, cute yoga pant leggings. Um, there's not a size on them, I would have to say they're a small. Um, this, is a super cute top by Nasty Gal. Um, unfortunately, there's not a tag, but um, they told me it was from Nasty Gal and it's super cute and detailed. I'll kind of put it closer so you can see it. And the sleeves are super cute. I think it's an extra small or a small. I'm gonna do some research on it before I get it posted because it's so cute. Um, this new with tags from Urban Outfitters. It's kind of like a um, oversized blouse. It's super cute. It's kind of like um, thermal material. It's a size medium and it's out from under for Urban Outfitters. It's super cute. Uh, this next one is going to be a Free People piece. I got a couple really great Free People pieces. This one's super cute. It has a hood and it's like a three-quarter length sleeve hoodie. Um, it doesn't actually have a size, but this is the Free People tag. Um, I think it is older, but I still think it's super cute. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's not a tag on the inside either, so I guess it's a small or a medium. Um, because that's the sizes that all this stuff was I got from this person. This is another Free People. It's just a cute, like, oversized gray sweater. Um, this one's a size small. It's super soft, like a great throw over with sweats. Um, this next piece is a knockoff Gucci, Fucci, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is new with tags. I'm going to try to put that closer so you can see it. Um, it doesn't have a price on it, but it is... It's obviously fake, but it has like the fake Gucci tag and everything on it. Um, I just thought it was funny and like kind of cute. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it on like a local like offer up or something like that. I'm not gonna get in trouble obviously for putting it on Posh because I know it's fake. Um, but I thought it was fun and it's like pretty decent quality. So I think I paid actually five for that one. So I'm sure I can get 50 out of it. Um, it doesn't look terrible and it's cute. Uh, the next piece I got is the California Love. This is a Wild Fox piece. It's a size medium, just kind of like a long sleeve over sweater. It's super cute. SoCal piece. Um, next is a Free People like layered tank. It kind of has like a wife beater-ish tank under it, and then it has this see-through mesh tank over it. It's long, it's super cute, and it's a size small. So got some good free people pieces. Um, I got a couple Brandy Melville. Um, this is a super cute Brandy classic gray cardigan. I like this. I might actually keep this for myself. It's super soft, cute, in good shape. And then another Brandy piece, um, kind of like an oversized long sleeve, like super thin knit Brandy. And you know all their stuff is one size fits most. Um, the couple other clothing pieces. These are like a pair of cutoff Levi's shorts. Um, they're not 501s, they're 550s. And they say 12 regular. Um, I don't know what size that is, but I'm gonna try them on. There's no way they're 12 in kids, they're too big. And they're not a 12 in women's either. So I'll try them on and see what I can get out of those. Um, another clothing piece I got, this is like brand new. I just thought it was super cute. Um, it's like not a good brand or anything, but it looks to me like a wild fox or something like that. Um, it's this pink rose. I know you see it at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, I might keep this one for myself or I'll just resell it. It's super cute. I got some 
um, bras as well. This is just like a Forever 21 little bralette. I'll probably keep that guy for myself. Um, new with tags, Victoria's Secret Lightly Lined 32D um, bra. It's like a light baby blue. Um, I just got this because it was new with tags and I think this one was a buck. So that'll definitely sell. And then I got this. This is like super pretty. It's Victoria's Secrets. It's kind of like a velvet strapped and velvet like on here too with lace. It's so pretty. It's just a size extra small little like bralette. I don't know. It's just really good quality and looked really pretty. So I grabbed that. Um, next on to the little knickknacks or hard goods, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got this um, Neutrogena light, like facial light what is it called? Light therapy acne mask. I've been wanting to try this. I think these retail for like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, that's why I've been too cheap to buy it and try it for myself. So that is brand new in box. So this will be a score for me. Um, so I can try that. Um, I did get a used Clarisonic. Um, this is the charger. Um, it's like a blue one. I sold one of these on eBay like a couple weeks ago. I think I got like 38 or 40 bucks out of it. So you know, I, I don't even know how much I paid for it. Um, I got one of these loci. I might be saying it wrong. I actually have this one. Um, that's mine, but there's actually not that great of a resale market. I researched it after, but you know, I kind of just threw it in. Um, and then I got this blue winter sky bath and body works, um, three wick candle. Smells amazing. They had two of these brand new. Um, the other one was vanilla scent and I didn't pick it up because I don't like vanilla. I should have um, turned on my reseller cap and bought it because I know some of these certain scents go for a lot because they're like out of date and people love them and can't find them. So I should have picked it up, but I didn't. Um, now on to the shoes, which as you guys know, if you follow me, this is my favorite. Um, I found for the first time a pair of Doc Martens, so that's really exciting. Um, they are pretty beat up, um, as far as like the leather goes, you can see the toes are like pretty scratched up. So I do need to clean these, but I'm sure I can still get like 40 or 60 bucks out of them. So that was definitely worth the pickup. Um, I bought this pair of, I, know, I always butcher this name, Morel. Um, I've heard good things about this brand. I bought my first pair, I think was last week and I just got them listed. So um, these were a buck, so I couldn't pass them up. All the shoes were a buck except for the Docs and I think I paid eight for the Doc Martens, which is good. Um, I got these Sperry's, they're pretty cute. They're like a black and gold with little gold like polka dots and they're in decent shape. I mean, I'll clean them up a little cause I do all my shoes, but these are a size seven. So I just thought they were pretty cute for a dollar. Um, and then I got these Mark, Mark Jacobs. They're not Mark Jacobs, sorry. Michael Kors flip flops. Um, they're a size nine, they're white. They're actually in pretty good shape, but I do just need to clean off the bottom. And then two other pairs of sandals a pair of like an orange Ugg sandal. Um, they're in pretty good shape as well. They actually, the bottoms look like they've never been worn, but the tops are a little worn. So get those cleaned up and listed. Uggs have done pretty well for me historically. And lastly, this pair of Steve Madden's, I think they're called the Kale. Um, I don't normally pick these up, but they were a dollar and it's summer right now. Um, and they were, they're seriously like brand new. So I'm like, well, I'm sure I can at least get 15 or 20 bucks out of them. So anyways, that's my haul. Thanks for watching my video. Follow me on Instagram under my pink hanger. If you're interested in seeing more from me and keep following me on here, um, starting tomorrow, um, I am going to be a full-time reseller. So I am going to start a daily vlog on here. Um, just kind of showing you my workflow and kind of talking to you about like what I'm doing every day So I hope everyone's having a great one and thank you so much for the support and subscribe if you haven't below um, I need the subscribers. I'm just starting off this channel. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks guys